If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? Well, as we know, Florida is leading the country when it comes to having a pro-business environment. Uh, and it is, it's so high because we have limited regulations, low taxes. Uh, we try to eliminate as much red tape as possible, and we need to continue doing so. We also need to increase workforce development programs so that when, when kids either graduate high school or when they get out of college, they are ready to enter the workforce uh, with a learned skill that's going to benefit them and the business community as a whole. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Florida's health care, we need to expand access. We need to increase quality. Hopefully that will drive down costs. I think free market solutions like direct primary care is a step in the right direction. Uh, but again, I think when we have so many seniors in the state, uh, low income uh, earners in the state, uh, quality health care is important to them and we need to make sure that we look for free market solutions to health care. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Well, over the recent years, we've done a great job in expanding school choice. We need to continue to do so. Uh, we have held our students to high standards. We need to continue to do so. But again, the, this workforce development uh, programs, we need to increase those. Uh, STEM programs within elementary school, we need to increase those as well. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. And so I think we need to look at all of those areas to uh, ensure that our children are getting the best education possible, while also providing choice for, for their parents to select the best education for their needs.